breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dekano's American lawyer, Bruce Fain, petitions ICC wants Buhari minister, Malami, Justice Unyako charged for crimes against humanity, others. Unam Dekano's American lawyer, Bruce Fain, petitions ICC wants Buhari's minister, Malami, Justice Unyako charged for crimes against humanity, others. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Finn said they include kidnapping, torture, extraordinary rendition and indefinite arbitrary detention of Namdekano in the ongoing attempted judicial murder. Bruce Fain, the American Council for the Detained Leader of the Indigenous People of the Afra, Hypo, Unamdekanu, has filed a petition against the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami and Justice Binta Unyako to the International Criminal Court, ICC. Fain, an international lawyer and spokesperson, for Kano addressed the petition to Karim Khan, Chief Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, in The Hague, asking the ICC to charge Malami and Unyako with conspiracy and crimes against humanity against Biafrans and their leader, Unamdi Kano, by protracted and systematic resort to murder, extermination, imprisonment, torture, rape, persecution based on political, religious and ethnic grounds, and industrial scale theft of property including an ongoing attempt on judicial murder of Unamdi Kanu. In the document obtained by Sahara reporters on Wednesday, Finn said in October 2020, Five human rights experts of the United Nations Human Rights Council asked President Buhari within 60 days to submit evidence of Mr. Kanu's terrorism. Mr. Buhari sneered at the overture, probably reflecting, Being a tyrant means you never need to obey the law. It said, Can we seek in a beer from sovereignty? adding that a referendum is not special pleading. South Sudan voted independence from Sudan in a 20, in a 2011 referendum, the United Kingdom recently afforded Scotland a secession vote and may do so again. Date of Canada and Quebec. The United States periodically permit Puerto Rico to vote between statehood, independence, or Commonwealth status. The legal and moral case for Biafran independence is overwhelming, he said in the 23 page document. Stating Malami and Yako's crimes against humanity. Finn said they include kidnapping, torture, extraordinary rendition, and indefinite arbitrary detention of Namdiganum in the ongoing attempted judicial murder. It reads in part. As an integral part of the ongoing crimes against humanity described above on or around June 2021, Antony General Malami conspired with the Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari, Nigerian Federal High Court Justice Binta Yako, and Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, among others, to kidnap and torture Biafran leader 
Unam de Kanu in Nairobi, Kenya for several days, and then subject him to a legal extraordinary addition to Labuja, Nigeria. There, for more than nine months, Unam de Kanu has been detained in solitary confinement in extremely confined quarters and denied necessary medical care and legal counsel without a trial with the illegal imprimatur of co-conspirator Justice Binta Unyako. The conditions under which Unamde Kanu is subsisting satisfies the definition of torture under the Convention Against Torture, Article 1, Paragraph 1. Antony General Malami has considered that Nigerian security agencies were involved in Namdi Kano's abduction, torture, and extraordinary rendition, but has attempted to whitewash the crimes with the falsehood that the International Police Organization, Interpol, was a collaborator. The extraordinary rendition in violation of Kenya's extradition provisions, which was effectuated by the use of a private aircraft, could not have been a, could not have been accomplished without the knowledge and consent of co-conspirator President Kenyatta, who himself has been previously accused of crimes against humanity by the International Criminal Court. Judges like co-conspirator Justice Beta Unyako are not shielded from criminal prosecution for crimes against humanity based on participation, especially illegal show trials. Neither are prosecutors like arch conspirator Antony General Malami. The president was set in the justice case of the post-World War II Nuremberg Trials, United States v. Joseph Altstetter et al. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.